everyone, I'm Maddie and you're watching AFI DIYs. We've already shown you guys how to make a simple water-based air freshener in the past, but we're always working to give you the latest and the greatest the industry has to offer. So that's why we decided to share a new and improved formula that's just as easy to make. So hit that like button if you want to support what we do here at AFI. And without further ado, let's get started. As with any water-based formulation, we need a way to allow the fragrance oil to emulsify without separation into our base. For this, we'll be using a combination of our PEG40 hydrogenate castor oil and polysorbate 80, which I already have here in my beaker. Both are gentle, low-fluming surfactants that will work together to homogenize our fragrance oil into the water without leaving it look at thick or milky residue. So since I already have those two ingredients in here, I'm gonna grab my glass stirring rod and I'm gonna give this a quick stir before adding in the fun part, which is our fragrance. Alrighty, now that this has been mixed for a solid minute or two, we can add in our fragrance. Now there's thousands of scents to pick from on our web store, so check it out if you haven't already. And I use a search filter option to select a fragrance made specifically for air fresheners, which is our project. And so I chose to use AFI's Super Cherry. This is already pre-measured out and ready to go, so I'm just gonna dump it in like so. And again, I'm just gonna keep stirring. I recommend stirring for about 60 seconds or so just to make sure everything is nice and homogenized. Alrighty, now that I've been mixing for about a minute or so, we can add in our water. So I'm gonna grab our water here. And while I'm pouring this in, I'm only pouring a little bit in at a time and making sure I'm stirring vigorously. I just wanna make sure that everything is nice and well incorporated. And when all the water has been added into the beaker, continue to keep mixing just to make sure everything is nice and, of course, homogenized. So we're gonna pour a little bit in. Alrighty, now that all of our ingredients in here are nice and homogenized, we can just add in our preservative. Now I'm using Optifin in my T Plus, and this will keep our air freshener free of bacteria and mold throughout its use. So I'm just gonna add this in, and then of course give everything one last stir before we move on to packaging. Alrighty, now that this has been mixed together for a little bit, we okay, now move on to putting this into our packaging of choice. Because it's an air freshener, I chose a bottle that simply goes like this. So I'm just gonna unscrew this. And then I'm also gonna grab my handy dandy funnel. It just helps minimize the mess that I would make. So I'm just gonna simply pour this into our packaging. Alrighty, simply remove that. And just like that, your DIY is complete. We kept it simple today, but this air freshener formula can be customized with all kinds of different fragrances, colorants, and packaging to make it perfect for your brand. Tag us on any of our socials linked down below to show us your very own air fresheners. Now we would price these air fresheners at around one to two dollars wholesale and about three to six dollars retail based on how much it costs to make, which is actually under a dollar. For more projects just like this, check out our project playlist, which can be found on our channel. Thanks so much for joining us in the lab today. Subscribe and ring that bell icon to become a member of our notification squad, and you'll be in the first to know next time we post. I'm Maddie, and it's been great hanging out with you guys, but I'll see you guys again really soon on our next DIY. Bye. Thank you.